first part of the day, getting started. <laughs> With Jeremy, he's a breath of fresh air. He works really hard, and a lot of people don't like to work hard. They just want their staff to work hard. But we work hard for him because he's working so hard. Working with Jeremy is awesome. He's caring, he makes you feel like he has your back no matter what, um, he's very personable. First thing I usually do here is I come in, you know, somewhere between 5.30 and 6.30 every day, get set up with my morning routine. So that usually consists of a daily verse of the Bible, my good old five minute journal, do some gratitudes, three things that would make today great, some, an affirmation, and then I'm just reviewing my day, seeing what's on my calendar, what do I have to prepare for, is there anything from yesterday that I need to make sure gets addressed today, and really it's just planning for the first, you know, 30, 45 minutes, and then it's a uh, workout time. Hello, Paul. Hello, Paul, this is your Pacific Standard Time friend, Jeremy Forcier, how are you? <laughs> hey, Jeremy, how are you? I'm doing fine, is this an okay time to chat for a couple minutes? Perfect. So what's going on? What can I help you with? Yeah, so here's the bottom line. Um, I own my I owned my house free and clear, and I took a second out against it because I have no tax break, and I wanted to do some stuff with the money. So I took $150,000 out okay. on, uh, on, in uh, 2012. Connecticut is a little bit like California. People are moving out of here as fast as possible. You're not getting a lot for your dollar. Right. I think that if the goal is to have the most flexibility, you know, I would do it sooner rather than later. And there's no negative consequences really to you doing it now versus waiting. Whereas in the future, we, we don't know what laws will be, will transfer taxes be different, um, what, we, just right. don't, we just don't know. What I could do is send you a customer questionnaire to fill out with your basic info, I can set up a okay. loan file from there, and my office will uh, get it all cleaned up for us. Uh, and okay. then um, after that, I will create a presentation for you with multiple options, with a video literally walking you through the options. Um, okay. And then we can go from there. Excellent. You have my email. Yes. Whenever you need, you just reach out to me, and I'll, I'll get it for you. I, I'd be uh, honored to help you however I can. I will send this over to you right now. If you have any questions, uh, let me know and we'll talk soon. Okay, and feel free to call me on the cell at any time, okay? All right, thanks a lot, Paul. Okay, nice getting together with you and thank you so much for the call. All right, take care. talk every Tuesday. I talk to a mentor of mine for 15 minutes just to check in, see how things are going, get some good advice, talk about stuff that's going wrong in business and work and personal life, get some leadership poured into me. What's your big struggle right now? You know, um, I think most of it's between my ears and we have talked about in our leadership group at the core, the coaches, you know, we, we've done it many times where it's like, what's your biggest fear? And you go around the room. And mine consistently is letting people down. The truth is you've got a decision to make on all that. If they're, if they're not getting the time they need from you, and that brings you joy to spend time with them, that's what you gotta do. I got some homework to do. <laughs> Jeremy's branch operations manager, and I have been working with him for almost five years. He's a true leader, and um, he keeps everybody together as a team, makes it fun. 
Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. So here's what I'd love to start with today, you guys. I want to also start with one thing that we are grateful for about Brittany and, or one thing that we love about Brittany. And if you don't know her because you've been gone when we hired <laughs> you, you better make something up good. Okay? So, um, <laughs> Brittany, I couldn't be more stoked to have you back. Dawn, you're up. I just miss her being in the office and talking to her and laughing with her. All right, you guys. Well, it's pipeline day. Uh, I'm going to do this a little bit different because Here's some things that I've noticed since Britt's been gone and I've had to been involved in Pipeline and I skip it every other week and all this stuff is that Pipeline is absolutely necessary, but you know who should lead the Pipeline is you guys, right? And I, I just wanna, I wanna tighten it up a little bit so I'm gonna experiment a little bit today and I'm just gonna say like Jay Lee, you're gonna go first. You just go and get through your list with the notes and then if I have questions I will ask and um, I will never do Pipeline again starting next week personally. Jeremy has just created an awesome culture. Everybody that he hires is basically approved by the whole team. So we all get along really well and he makes it a fun work environment. You know what I love about coaching with you, bro? Is that you think a lot. Um, okay. So... Just tell some stories and make them laugh. Bro, it's all about the stuff. I think that our outline and what we talk, even though you were in a car doing a water run, it's dialed, bro. We don't. Need, there's so much content in there. We, if we keep adding stuff, we're gonna talk for three hours. I think that um, oversimplifying it is critical. Uh, of that, we can come up with all this fancy schmancy stuff and you know co-marketing and like all this stuff. But at the end of the day, my job is to make sure it gets done for you and that people feel good about the process with excellent communication. Basically, Taylor, if you could just email us and um, email me what I said I would get you, video uh, outline as far as like follow up. Yeah, man, I'm good. I'm ready to rip. Hi, buddy. Looking cool. forward to it. All right, thanks guys. Peace. Bye guys. I don't know how we would be able to get a copy of the agreement for them if they can't. What if they don't have a copy of the agreement and it can't be forgiven? Can they pay it off? So I'm going to make a quick video and send it to him, and then if you could schedule an appointment with him just to go over the P&L first and foremost, and then um, I'm gonna let him know that we're, you know, we either need a copy of the documents and you must have them somewhere, maybe in an email or something. This environment is amazing. I've worked at a few other places and it's pretty corporate and buttoned up. Everybody's very busy and very about their work, but it's just a different, relaxed environment in the aspect of you can reach out and talk to people about, you know, bouncing ideas off of people. Other jobs, you can't do that. It's like, if you don't know, well, then you sink and swim. Like, everybody's here as a family, which is kind of great. It is first time home buying situation for both my husband and myself. Okay. Um, we've mainly rented our entire lives, and we've been kind of considering the possibility of purchasing um, either like a modular home or manufactured home. 99.9% .9 of anything you see about first-time home buyer programs is complete BS. What it is, is it's just an FHA loan, uh, which we can all do, but it's coined the first-time home buyer loan just because of the low down payment. Best use of your time while I still have you. Yes. Yeah. I'm lucky. Um, Number one is I have a bunch of deliveries if you would be open to doing that. Sure. Um, like of gifts to. All the ones that have been there. I've been sitting there for like yeah. a month and a half now, all <laughs> yeah. ready to go. Um, and now that we're, we have a little bit more time, which I don't, but I. I can do it. Yeah. That Those would be, girls are totally yeah. capable of their positions now. 100%, so. right? That's what I thought. Yeah. So I, that was number one I want to check in on. Yeah. Like, how's everyone doing? Yeah, they're doing great. They just okay. have random questions here and there, which is fine. Cool. And if I wasn't here, they would be able they to figure it out. out. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I think they just, sounded like me right They just there. lean on me as a little <laughs> crush, like but they definitely are right. Hey, hear me? Hello, how are you? Just working my way through each day as best I can. That's yeah, so great. Yeah, well thanks for taking some time. So it looks like uh, we are um, cleaning up something for your mom, is that right? For my mother-in-law, yes. Okay, awesome. Yes. We're trying to get her to downsize. So she has a big house in Santa Rosa. 
that we will be listing and selling and getting her hopefully into something like a condo. What do you think an estimated HOA dues I could use just for the purpose of qualifying? Well, maybe, let's do 400 just to be safe. Okay, and then um, should I use just like a baseline loan amount of around 100,000? I can obviously change that. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, great. So I am all done. Uh, that is okay. all that I need. So in order for me to, you know, formally pre-approve her, I just need her tax return so that I know what income I can use. And then as soon as I have that, um, yeah, we'll be we'll be good to go. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Jeremy. Do you have any LP1 or LO training tips or best practices and LP1, LP2 job function lists that I can look at? I, actually, one thing I really wanted to do was well, I wrote down cradle grave file flow for purchase and refi, but I saw what you did in there, and I, that's kind of what I'm looking at. So who does what when is still challenging for me sometimes, and I want to see how you do it. I oversimplify everything, so regardless of how detailed that is, we just redid that and over the last three weeks, and we have to format that into a new, I have my old one I can give to you. It's very similar. I love that because I want to be able to teach people like this is the way we do it, and I don't have a clear grasp of it. Oh man, this new URL, my God. Oh dude, I took this to training, shit. and it was like, oh, it made it sound like a couple things, and I guess I was like, I, know, this I is did my, the training too. This, this is, is my second this. one, and I'm like, oh my God. It will be used as nothing. <laughs> um, I wonder if I do this. What'd you break? Well, dude, listen, I hate this URL already. I'm not, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm not trying to be negative. It's brutal. Okay? I don't understand. You can come on this side. Why this is asking me. For what? It's hitting me with like triple what their, or double what the payments are. Okay. And they're selling this property. I marked it as pending sale. Okay. Like, what else mean, why is that do? showing, why is that locked I know. Did you well, lock that? No, 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 here, okay. I just clicked on it. Right there? Yeah. I tried to remove this. Make it, a, just delete it. I swear to God he was here. That is exactly <laughs> what I did. And it's a box popped up that says it must be one through six. Yeah. Thank you. Just uh -huh. learn something. Thanks, bro. All right. So usually what I just did would take me 10 minutes uh -huh. and nothing's working. And because we have a whole new, so they added, the government added 72 new bullet points and redesigned the way the whole application is done to make it more transparent. It, every time they say more transparent, it's less transparent. It's more data that's more confusing to, to the consumer. And it's awful. And this is the third time they've done it in 10 years. And, and this is on the which form? What? the what formerly was the loan application the 1003 for borrowers now is this new one and it's three pages more than it used to be um and okay. none of it is talking to each other fail oh every time it's a fail Hey, what's up, Stan? It's Jeremy Forcier. Um, hey, man, I'm sorry that I haven't got back to you yet. I've been just super buried in emails and I missed it. What I created here for you was just an updated presentation based on the rates. Um, rates have moved up, but the cost has moved up. But I'm going to show you a chart below this link that shows you that they're on their way back uh, to towards where we were. So let me know what you think. Um, I'm more than happy to uh, hop on the phone as well. I have some time later in the day if that works for you, or you can just email me back like, hey, we'll keep floating as we go, and we'll go from there. Hope you're having a great day. Talk to you soon, man. What's up, Juan? It's Jeremy Forcier, Cross Country Mortgage. How are you? I'm doing super good. How are you today, sir? Awesome. Well, you were uh, hooked up with me through Karen Mansfield. How do you know her? Okay. Well, what are you looking to do? How can I help you today? Is this going to be a first-time home purchase or do you own other properties? All right, great. So if you're going to purchase the new home um, as a uh, non-owner occupied, meaning you're going to rent it to the kids, um, the minimum down payment is 20%. If you buy it as an owner-occupied house, then 50000 is enough, but 
if it's not if you're not going to occupy the property we're gonna to have to put much more down payment yeah yeah no I to totally understand so that sounds great I'll send this over to you right now just fill it out over the weekend and my office will follow up with you on Monday okay Probably the, the greatest thing I enjoy about working with Jeremy is, you know, our partnership. I think we've got a, you know, between both of us, I think we have a real desire to make an impact in people's lives. You know, I think uh, it's, it's really important to us to, you know, to be um, good partners, good collaborators, you know, good friends with the people that we work with. This is Roxana. Hey Roxana, it's Jeremy Forcier with Cross Country Mortgage. How are you? Hi Jeremy, good. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Is this a good time to chat still? Yes. Awesome. Well, you were referred to me by the great Andrew Paulson. How do you know him? I was met him through my agent oh, because cool. I'm looking at some new construction um, in Napa. Oh, cool. My agent actually had really good things to say about you. He said he's seeing your name and you're like one of the best so right on well that's super kind <laughs> i appreciate the kind words uh who's your agent his name is sean harrington oh yeah okay cool sean's great as well that's awesome well um tell me about your situation what are you looking to do how can i help you today yeah so i'm looking at these homes in napa i saw two models one was um a bit on a smaller side and yeah a little claustrophobic okay. and then that's the next model the bigger one um was much more spacious and it, it's a little bit more money but i'm pre-approved yeah no i'd be honored to help you absolutely so here's the good news and the bad news the bad news is that all of us has have the same exact interest rates the good news is we all have the exact same interest rate so you can save ten thousand dollars like everyone else i'm concerned about my monthly payment okay. my my down payment. Okay. Well, tell me about that. Yeah, like, where where well, do you where do you want your monthly payment to be? So I think I'm comfortable with like around three thousand. It's the most I've ever paid for housing. I've been a renter okay. up until now, but I did the math and um, I can I can make it work, but it's a little scary. Like I'm kind of like at the sticker shock. Well, good. That's it. That's a good thing. You're not going to make a bad decision. I mean, I know that sounds weird from a mortgage person, but I think that um, having a budget and understanding it is probably the number one most important step that anyone can do. And I see most people not do that and then they get in over their head. So I think that's a great thing. I'm going to send you a, a customer questionnaire to fill out with your basic information. Uh, once you complete that, uh, my office, one of my team members or myself will tidy up the information, make sure all the data is in the right spots, and then I'll create a presentation for you with a video, literally walking. So you'll click on the link, it'll pull up a presentation in your browser, and I'll be in the corner walking you through the different numbers and scenarios, making sure you understand how they all work. Great. Cool. So I will send this over to you right now. Just fill it out whenever you have 15 minutes, whether it's today or over the weekend, and we'll turn this around very, very quickly for you and go from there. Sounds great. Thanks so much for the call. All right. I'll talk to you soon. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks. You too. All right. Bye. The reason why I want to use that clip as training is that I get so much, um, not feedback, but kind of objections from loan officers that work with me of like, hey, um, they're already pre-approved with someone. Like we got to be better than the other rate than the other person. They didn't even ask any questions. They don't ask questions. And it's like all you have to do is connect with the person. She's nervous. Like the client is nervous. They don't know what they don't know. This isn't what they do every day. And if you notice in the conversation, um, number one, I addressed it <laughs> with what the truth is about it. Is that no, I'm going to be the same. We're going to we're all going to be basically the same, right? But here's the incentives and here's how it works. And you have to you, you have to run into the questions and not away from them. Don't try to come up with a salesy answer as to why we're different and why we're the best. You just have to educate, 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 and connect, and then bring it back on a personal level, asking about like how why did they move here, where did they go to school, and understanding. And if you have to know your your customer when you're talking to them as well. Um, and knowing different personality traits, right? Profiles, like in a disc profile, she is definitely a, what's called a high eye. 
So a high I wants to talk about how everything feels. It, like, it's, it's sunny, yeah, I'm outside, I like the spaciousness, she said three times. Like I like, so I took it back to that. You have to take it back to what makes them feel good. And then if you noticed, I wrap back in the mortgage at the end. I said, so, like, so how much exactly do you want to put down again? But you have to connect with them on a personal level first to get that anxiety out trusted advisor, non-threatening, give information, and then they will give you all the information that you want. Hi, this is Laura. Hey, what's up, Laura? It's Jeremy Forsey. How are you? Good. So I sent over the request for um, the 15000 in closing costs to okay. be um, signed by the sellers, hopefully. Can we run some numbers? Yeah, what, what would you like? So well, on the HUD that we have right now, the um, buyer settlement statement, it says that their closing costs are like 15000 something. Okay. But uh, when you ran numbers earlier, you told me it was 12300 and some change. That's what it says in our system. We can go off of whatever the HUD settlement statement says. That's fine. It probably has updated interest in there uh, for 15 days, so that actually makes sense. Okay, so they're locked in at their rate, we're yep. all good there, and the 15000 will get covered in their closing costs. Yes, ma'am. Correct? Yep. Okay, well just keep me, once I send it to you, just keep me posted on how, once you do all the numbers, on how it all, is all going to work and when I should set up for them to sign. No problem at all. We'll, we'll be totally on top of it. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you too. All right, bye. So a lot of conversations you have, um, like that one, that's probably the fourth conversation of the same conversation that I've had with the same person. Some, sometimes it just takes people five times to understand something, even if you say the same exact thing. I'm going to be talking to a new a loan officer that's interested in like coming in and um, working with me potentially. Like I don't do any, so there's no sales pitch or anything. It's really just trying to understand like who they are and keep it to 15 minutes so you can schedule another appointment and make sure that it's like the right fit. So it's the opposite kind of of what our industry does. <laughs> Usually our industry is like, well, tell me where your pain is and tell me where you, and they like, like it, it's all the same stuff and like, well, this is what we can do for you. Like, I don't think you can, really get to know a person in 30 minutes if you're trying to sell them on something. Like, it doesn't make any sense. So this is literally going to be 15 minutes. Tell me about your life. How'd you get into business? Just super simple stuff like that. What's up? What's up, big dog? How's it going? Dude, great great to meet you. Great to meet you, bro. You're yeah. a legend out here. I'm no legend. Legends are dead, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Living Legends was one of my favorite underground hip hop bands way before your time. Yeah. Living Legends was dope. Oh, you know, you know Living Legends? Yeah, I, I came across them when I had an older cousin who was like, uh, yeah. intrigued me the baseball bat uh, cover. When yeah. they're, when they're all dressed. That's really, really funny, man. We're already of like kin. Yeah, I grew up listening yeah. to them. So, dude, how'd you get how'd you get in the business, man? Two years in, how's it treating you? Um, it, dude, it's been treating me good. Good. Uh, yeah. I had a great year, 2020. Nice. Um, first year I think I did 20 Oh, awesome. So, Congratulations. Yeah, so it was pretty good. And then this year I closed 10 and I have about eight in escrow right now. Nice. So it was, you know, I'm doing pretty good. You know, yeah. Much, you know, I guess I would say I don't try not to tie myself in the back, but. Hey man, <laughs> it's good to be proud and be hungry and humble. Yeah. Like those three yeah. things like can carry someone on to like unbelievably heights of success. Right. You know? Right, right, right. So then I, yeah, and ever since then I've been in the mortgage every day. That's cool. <laughs> you no, know, I love it. I love it. I, I, I'm going to do this for the rest of my life for sure. That's sick, <laughs> man. That's sick. What do you like about it so much? Uh, I just like uh, the challenges. Yeah. I just like, uh, like a lot of people complain about like kind of tough deals. I love the tough deals. Yeah. I feel like I'm still alive. Like, <laughs> love it. Love you know, it. You feel so good after like, damn, I closed out, like, hell yeah, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I just love, I love it, you know, I, lo I love meeting new people, of course, helping people, of course, is, you know, sometimes you can guilty, like, damn, I would have been free, you know, just because of the smile on their face, nice. um, I just can't say, obviously, you know, the money, you know, like anybody else, but uh, once you get, you know, you start building those relationships, and those clients, you know, they trust you with their lives, yeah, dude, there's no, there's no monetary, you know, 
like giving people great advice is yeah. like the best, the best feeling. But listen, man, um, I wanted to just keep this to 15 minutes today because I wanted to feel your energy. And dude, I'm all in. Like I, I, I think that you're gonna do whatever you want in this industry, whether it's whether it's here or where you're at or anywhere else. I'd be honored to help you in any way that I can. So what I'm gonna do is shoot you an email and then why don't you um, give me just a couple days and times next week that work for you and let's try to schedule an hour um, and I can answer all uh, questions you want and I'll share a little bit of like my vision and whatnot of like what I, where I'm going. And if it's if it if the call goes great and you're like okay I'm I'm interested then we can kind of move towards like a next step of investigating like what would it look like if we partnered up. Right. Right. Awesome. That sounds perfect. Is that cool? Yeah. Perfect. All right, man. Dead Prez Hip Hop. I'll see you later. That's it. I'm gonna hire that kid. He is awesome. I figured it out. For me to make a million dollars a year, I probably need to do about 25 units a month. Right. Does that sound about right? Yeah. Yeah. And you can't do that consistently with just three people. Yeah. You, you can, but it's it's, it's, no. it's you need four. You need you need to do four people. Um, yeah. For that. I figure about five or six units per person. Exactly. That's what I mean. That's always my calculations is six per person. You're definitely never hiring, in my opinion, for right now, no matter what. Whether you're busy or you're slow, like when last year I hired, you know, three, four more people, right? For the team, not just me, but for the team and my LOs, like in my branch. And like, they're not fully effective yet. I mean, they're, they're working and they're doing loans and they're helping, but that's a six month, 12 month process. I think all the things you're laying out are all pretty easy things to overcome with your company or, you know, not with your company, they have to have an open level head. And they just have to really look at the numbers and call them what they are, rather than make up something because they don't want to hire another person. So That's what's frustrating yeah. because they're like, we're hiring, we're hiring, offering bonuses, this and that, but then they're hiring people that have nothing at all. Right. And I'm like, why would you guys hire this person? Oh, you gotta stand up those two, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta stretch my legs sometimes. <laughs> what I would love to do um, personally is I would love to continue the conversation. I'm all in on doing something. I mean, I've been wanting yeah. to do something for the last three years. Let's keep talking. I ha I have a three o'clock I gotta hop on. No worries, buddy. Um, but basically, I'm telling you what I always tell you. Listen, I'm, I'm game. Like, uh, I think that I should talk to Brandon and get a pulse as well and then we can sync up and figure out what does a branch look like, what does, we can do a mock P&L so we can see what works and you tell me what you want to hire versus what you have and I'll be as transparent as humanly possible with you. On, no, I know you will bro. So, mm -hmm. um, alright man, I'm going to hop on this other Zoom and then... Um, okay buddy, I'll, I'll text Brandon right now and copy you on it. Okay. Alright, thanks buddy, talk to you later. See ya.